Combs test or antiglobulin test. In some conditions such as autoimmune hemolytic anemia, the body produces antibodies against the antigens of the red blood cells causing immune mediated action that destroys the red blood cells causing anemia. Combs test is used to detect these autoantibodies in the red blood cell service. There are two types of Combs test, direct Combs test and indirect Combs test. We are going to look at each and how they are done together in the interpretation of the results. The Combs reagent is made by taking blood from a human, then separating the serum with autoantibodies. After separating the serum, you inject it to a lab animal and the animal produces antibodies against those autoantibodies. After that, the blood from the animal is drawn and separated to give the formed antibodies. Now these antibodies are against those autoantibodies in the human serum. A positive test in Combs reagent will require about 200 antibody molecules to attach to each red blood cell. Direct antiglobulin test or direct Combs test is used to detect antibodies that are attached to the red blood cells. And the patient's red cells are mixed with Combs reagent, which contains antibodies against immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin M together with the complement. If the red cells have been coated with the antibody in vivo, the Combs reagent will induce the agglutination and this can be detected visually. It detects the presence of antibodies bound to the red cell surfaces such as autoimmune hemolytic anemias and in case of warm autoimmune hemolytic anemia where there is presence of immunoglobulin G and called autoimmune hemolytic anemia with presence of immunoglobulin M. Alloimmune hemolysis such as hemolytic disease of the newborn and transfusion reactions together with drug-induced hemolysis. Indirect antiglobulin test or indirect Combs test is used to detect which type of antibodies against red blood cells are in the plasma. Whole blood is taken, centrifuged and washed to give plasma. The plasma is then added to the red blood cells with non-antigen expression and after addition, the red cells will form an antigen-antibody complex on the red cell surface. Then you will add Combs reagent to this test tube with red blood cells having antigen antibody complex and in presence of outer antibodies agglutination will occur at the bottom of the test tube. The relevant antibody can then be eluded from the red blood cell service and tested against a panel of type red blood cells to determine against which red cell antigen is directed by these outer antibodies. This indirect antiglobulin test is used in antibody screening in pre-transfusion testing and screening in pregnancy for hemolytic disease of the newborn. The standard Combs reagent will miss immunoglobulin A and immunoglobulin E antibodies because it only has antibodies against immunoglobulin G, immunoglobulin M and complement.